What if I told you that the next big AI revolution isn't happening in some big tech company's data center, but right here in your pocket? This little device is about to become as smart as a supercomputer. How? On-device AI. And Qualcomm, they're leading the charge. Let's dive into this and she'll explain why it is so important. Okay, enough of me in this casual setting. We need tech tip. Let's go back to her. You can think of it like having a tiny little genius in your phone. But what exactly makes this such a big deal? Let's take a look at the HP Omnibook X, for example. You can see I have one here, I've been playing around with it, and it's powered by Snapdragon X Elite and can process up to 45 tops. That's like having a supercomputer from just a few years ago all in your laptop, which is really wild to think about. Here are three big advantages to having this. One is privacy. Imagine telling your deepest, darkest secrets to your phone. With cloud AI, it's like shouting them into a crowded room. With on-device AI, it's like whispering them to your most trusted friend. Thanks to the powerful Qualcomm AI engine, all the AI is being processed on-device. Huge when you think about it. You have control over your data. Have you ever used a cloud-based image generator and waited and waited? That's cloud AI for you. On device AI, it's like having the world's fastest librarian in your pocket. It's quick, it's fast, and it will answer you right away. Now Qualcomm was able to achieve this by optimizing UNet architecture in stable diffusion, which reduces the number of attention blocks while maintaining image quality. This can result in a nine times speed up compared to base implementations, which is wild, nine times speed up. Another reason is personalization. You know we love automating and personalizing our lives. Imagine a device that knows you so well, it can literally finish your sentences, predict your needs, and adapt to your habits in real time. And with on-device AI, it can learn and adapt without sending data to the cloud again. Once again, going back to our earlier analogy, it's like whispering your secret to your friend instead of just shouting it out into a full crap. Now, you might be wondering, how did they fit all of that AI, all of that power into such a tiny device? Well, no, it's not magic. There is a scientific reason for it. Here is how they are able to do it. This is pretty cool. One is knowledge distillation. Imagine taking all the knowledge, once again, let's use of the library, and squeezing it into a notebook. That's knowledge distillation. Now with Qualcomm, they use this for creating the draft model for speculative decoding to one that runs efficiently on your phone. In this example, the student model learns to mimic the teacher while being much smaller and faster. So it's constantly learning, but Tinier. Now another way they're able to do it is through quantization. Think of it like compressing a file, but for AI. We're making AI models smaller without making them, well, dumber. Now with Qualcomm's AI model efficiency toolkit, it can reduce models from 32-bit precision down to 8-bit or even 4-bit, which is essentially is dramatically reducing the size and power consumption. Which, to put it into real-world impact, this means AI models that once required powerful GPUs can now run on your phone's NPU and use a fraction of the energy. It's hard to wrap your head around. But here's a real-world example to hopefully help us with that. What can this actually do for us? Let's look at three different applications. One is image generation. It can demonstrate on-device stable diffusion, and this is through Qualcomm's optimizations. You can generate a higher quality image in less than a second on devices with Snapdragon. That's faster than you can say, cheese, for a normal photo. Okay, that was kind of cheesy, but you get the point. It's very quick. Another way, it's your personal polyglot or natural language processing. And here's an example of this. OEMs and developers have an implementation of Llama that's optimized to run on Snapdragon. A model with 7 billion parameters runs smoothly even on mobile devices. It can translate languages, answer questions, and even write code. All well without an internet connection. Yes, you heard that right. So I guess it means more work for us while we're flying and in the car, I don't know. Another way is you can think of it as your superhuman eyes, if you will, it's superpowers. They have AI-powered nightography. It's a feature that uses advanced neural networks to enhance low light photos in real time. It's like giving your phone night vision. So there you have it. Qualcomm is really bringing the AI revolution to your pocket, whether it be through our computers, like I have here, your mobile devices, and so much more. Making our devices smarter, faster, and more personal than ever before. It's something that I'm really excited about, not only as a developer to continue building on these devices and seeing how quickly it happens. I mean, for example, I recently was on a plane and I used this computer to build completely offline, no Wi-Fi. It was quick, it was accurate. It makes building so much more fun when you actually can rely on a device that is quick, efficient, and you know, most of all, you can trust it. Like I said earlier in this video, it's not just sending things to the cloud, sending your information, your data, 
And I think we're living in a time where having control of our data or understanding how it's used or where it is going is so key. And that was really exciting to me as well. So make sure to go check out Snapdragon X Elite today. I linked more information on them down below. It's Qualcomm is such an interesting company and they're really ahead of the curve. So go learn more, stay ahead of the curve with them and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.